In some cases, you will want to counterbalance your subject. For example, you may want some participants to respond with F for blue colors and J for red colors, and other subjects to respond the opposite way. Counterbalancing, like randomizing trials, controls for aspects of the experiment that we don't want to systematically affect our results. To do this, click and drag a list object to the top of your experimental timeline. Rename the list Stroop Counterbalance, create a new procedure called Stroop Counterproc, and click and drag all of the other objects onto the counterbalance timeline. Delete the copies that are outside the timeline. Next, double-click on Stroop Counterbalance and create one new level. Add two attributes and call them Stroop Blue Resp and Stroop Red Resp. For level 1, make the responses F and J, and reverse them for level 2. Now, click the Property Pages button, and then click on the Selection tab. In the Order drop-down menu, select Counterbalance, and leave the order by as Subject. The next time we run the experiment, one of these levels will be selected according to the subject number that we enter. If we enter the subject number 1, then only level 1 will be run for the experiment. If we choose subject number 2, then the second level will be run for the experiment. To account for any number of subjects, the subject number will be divided by the total number of levels in the list, and the remainder will be the level that is chosen. For example, if we entered the subject number 5, then level 1 would be chosen. Now open the instruction screen. Because the subjects are counterbalanced, the response mappings will depend on the subject number, and this in turn will determine the Stroop Correct Resp attribute. To account for this, replace F with Stroop Blue Resp and J with Stroop Red Resp, surrounded by brackets. Notice that if you enter a bracket within an object, you will see a list of the available attributes. This will replace those letters with the value of those attributes for that subject. Next, open up Stroop List and replace the correct resp values with the corresponding correct attribute. For the blue colors, replace the value with the Stroop Blue Resp attribute, and for the red colors, replace the value with the Stroop Red Resp attribute. This will fill in that field with the value of the attribute, which will in turn fill in the correct response field in the Stroop Slide object. Click through the lists and the objects to make sure that you see how attributes can be propagated through different objects. In the next video, we will round out our Stroop experiment with the addition of feedback slides to provide continuous updates of the subject's performance. This video will also cover slide states, an important concept in E-Prime. Hope to see you then.